Hello students, in this slideshow, we are going to study about political organization from chapter 3. First, let us uh, see the definition of Panchayati Raj. In India, the Panchayati Raj generally refers to the local self-government of villages in rural India as opposed to urban and sub-urban municipalities. The word panchayat literally means assembly of five wise and respected elders chosen and accepted by the local community. This system was introduced by constitutional amendment in the year 1992. Therefore, panchayat system introduced and spread democratic behavior among common people. And the panchayat system strengthened faith in community identity a panchayat system combines social relationship with political and judicial institutions. The constitution, that is 73rd Amendment Act 1992. The constitution 73rd Amendment Act came into effect from April 24, 1993, which is termed as landmark day in the history of Panchayat Raj in India. The saline features of the act are as follows. Parsis number one, Gram Sabha. Number two, three tire systems, that is Gram Panchayat, Panchayat Samiti, and Zilla Parishad. And number three is reservation of seat, composition of Panchayat, duration of Panchayat, and the conduct of election. And number seven is finance commission. Number eight, development activities. And number nine is transfer of subject. Let us discuss about Gram Sabha. Gram Sabha is a body consisting of persons registered in the electoral role of a village or a group of villages which elect a panchayat. And number two, three tire systems. That is, the Act provides for a uniform three tire systems of panchayat, that is, the village, the block, and the district level. Only the states with population less than 20 lakhs are not required to establish a panchayat at the intermediate level. Number three, reservations of seats. The Act provides for reservation of seats for scheduled caste and scheduled tribe in each proportion to their populations, and one third of seats reserved for the women. Number four, Composition of Panchayat Persons chosen through direct elections from territorial constituencies fill all the seats in Panchayat. The chairperson of the village level is elected in a manner provided by the legislature of the state concerned. And the duration? The duration is for a period of five years. Conduct of elections The superintendents direct and control the preparation of the electoral role which is vested in the state ele elections commissions and number seven finance commissions such commissions are formed by every state to look after the financial needs of the panchayat development activities whether de develop development activities are held that this panchayat have been given the responsibilities to the panchayat to plan and execute economic development program like number one, economic education related, health related, welfare activities, including women and child development program, and also the infrastructural development. Transfers of subject. 29 subjects which were in the state list are identified and enlisted in the 11th schedule of the constitutions. These subjects are to be transferred to the panchayat institution. The subject were mostly linked to development and welfare function. This subject, all these subjects are mostly linked and related with the development and welfare functions in the local level, that is the village level. Function of panchayat tiraj. There are different functions like uh, the development, various development um, for the individual activities and even for the village level. 
So let us dis uh, see some of the functions which the Panchayati Raj have taken up. The structure of Panchayati Raj is designed in such a way that the 73rd Constitution Act gives certain power and functions to the three tier structures of the Panchayati Raj. Some of the important functions of the Panchayati Raj are as follows. Number one is agricultural development and irrigation facilities. Number two, land reforms. Number three, eradication of poverty. That means to wipe off the poverty in the society, in the family, etc. Number four, dairy farming, poultry, piggery, and fish rearing. Number five, rural housing. Number six, safe drinking water. Next, social forestry, fodder and fuel. And number eight, primary education, adult education, and informal training. There are many training which uh, the Panchayati Raj has taken up in the village level, district level, and even block level. And number nine, roads and buildings, which are made like uh, in villages. There are various uh, good roads uh, which the government has taken up. And number 10, markets and fairs, child and women development. And number 12, last, welfare of weaker sections, that is the scheduled caste and scheduled tribes. In different jobs, facilities, or many other things, the reservations has been given for the scheduled caste and scheduled tribes. And the special provisions like enforcement of prohibitions, protection of land, minor forest produce, water resources, village market, and development of various activities, various things have been taken up by the Panchayati Raj for the betterment, for the development of our own villages, own family, own individual, to bring up from poverty, to help us in eradicating all our poverty from being poor. Gram Panchayat, that is the village level. The village Panchayat is the lowest unit. There is a Panchayat for each village of a group of villages in case of the population of this villages happens to be too small that means if the village is too small that means the group of village like uh, two or three villages combined together to form a panchayat the panchayat chiefly consists of representative elected by the people of the village panchayat samiti that is the block level Panchayat Samiti consists of 20 to 60 villages depending on the area and populations. The Panchayat Samiti is a link between the Gram Panchayat and the Zilla Parishad. It is a local government body at the Tassil level in India. Zilla Parishad, the District Council. It is a top tier of the Panchayat Raj system and represents an entire district. They work directly with the state government but not part of the state government. Members serve for four to five years depending on the way the district structures its councils. The chief executive officer who is an IAS or state civil service, head of the administrative machinery of the Jela Parishad. Now we'll go to women empowerment. Women empowerment in Indian villages society is predominated by prohibitions and taboos against women. To deal with all these panchayat are constituted in a manner that ensures women representations to allow them to voice their demands and claim their rights. The 73rd Constitution Amendment Act has made an effort to give some special power to the women in all three tiers of panchayat raj. The aim was to involve women to take part in decision-making activities for the society at large so that they can address the root cause of the exploitation over them. 
Therefore, women are empowered through emancipation movement, education, communication, media, political parties, and general awakening. The 73rd and 74th Amendment ensured that reservation of one-third of the total seats for women in all elected offices of local bodies in both rural and urban areas. In many cases, women are guided and influenced by their husband or other male member of their families in decision making, but such inst instances are becoming fewer within time. Reasons for taking measures to empower women. What are the reasons? Various reasons to empower women are number one, health, number two, literacy, number three, economic, four, UN declaration and Women World Congress, and number four, number five is atrocities. Health. There is general practice in Indian society that women take less amount of food, especially nutritious food, and they are supposed to sacrifice their nutrition for the rest of the family. However, the health of children finally depends a lot on the health of the mother. In the matter of medical treatment, also the women are sufferer. This kind of discrimination cuts across castes and classes. Empowered of women may change the scenario as the women coming out from the four walls of home may gain the courage for their own nutrition which is needed even for the society as a whole. Number two, literacy. In absence of literacy, women are remaining in complete darkness. They work in the field, but the field legally do not belong to them. In 60 persons, the state the sex ratio is below the national average. With regards to women literary rate, only 39 persons of the 12 populations above 7 years of age is literate. Therefore, in those times in the past, women are not given education. Only the male child are preferred to take education and the girl child to help the mothers at homes in household work. For that women empowered in for that reasons women empowerment has been taken to bring out women in education level so that they can get their own rights, freedom in the society. UN Declaration and Women World Congress. But this program do not provide any long-term solutions to the problems of women. Therefore, declaration was described for the women. Another effort made towards empowerment of women is the documented release in 1985 after the Women World Congress at Nairobi. Following this conference, a national document was prepared laying down for what looking strategies for women development. In this document, the question of women participation in political affairs was highlighted and it was recommended that 35% of the total seats should be reserved for women. With the UN declarations, the women participation has been taken up and the reservation seats Mm, has been highlighted and the last atrocities atrocities means like women are always prone to torture in different part of our countries even in our own in our own countries even in our own states like women are always prone to torture deprivation and violence as the entire society nurtured a stigma against this section of humanity that means they are weaker sections weaker than the male, so all the tortured, deprivation, violence, um, rape, etc. has been taken up in these sections of uh, humanity, that is the women. So, like for example, female incenticide, 
physical abuse, sexual harassment, and in general, a continuous repression are most common. And this is the reason why uh, women empowerment has, uh, is needed to be taken up. The last point that is Bal Panchayat. You should remember this. What is Bal Panchayat? Bal Panchayat means, in short, the voice of the children. Bal Panchayat is a forum of children to express their need to Gram Panchayat. That means it is a, a voice of children where the children can express their need to the Gram Panchayat. Bal Panchayat meet regularly to discuss the need for the better education, health, and other needs. So in this uh, Bal Panchayat, uh, they meet regularly and discuss about uh, how children will educate and about their health facilities and other various needs. Present it needs to the it presents it needs to the Gram Panchayat that is the elected village parliament. That is, they have to go to the uh, Gram Panchayat elected village parliament uh, to discuss their needs in education, health, or other fa other facilities. Gram Panchayat solve them on forwards them to block and district official. So the Gram Panchayat after they go in give all, all their demands, the Gram Panchayat take the words and forward it to the block and the district officials. Bal Panchayat keep a track of progress. That means they, Bal Panchayat always see the progress of the children. That's all for today. Class, thank you.